<laughs> okay, well, the one thing that's putting a smile on everybody's face, and I'm sure we can all agree, unlike the last topic, topic uh, discussion, was the legend that is now producing uh, Shohei Hotani, uh, who, uh, who you, we've all known how good he is, and he's been getting injured, and we've never really seen it. But his first start, um, in the first inning, he's throwing 101 miles per hour, and then his first at-bat, he hits a home run with an exit velocity of 115.2 miles per hour. You don't have to be an Angels fan to have a massive smile on your face and love what this boy is doing. Yeah, Goldie, you know I'm not a huge fan of fantasy baseball, but uh, you may have noticed I picked Otani. I probably picked him too high, mainly because I just want to have an excuse to, to root for him every time he goes out there. Yeah. I think health is going to be the big issue here. You know, he got a little banged up in that game and had an ankle injury. Uh, you know, he's going to sit out Monday, you know, the, the first game after that. And, uh, you know, if he could stay healthy, he's one of the most, to me, even more than a Tatis Jr., he could be the most exciting thing in baseball because that 100.6 mile an hour fastball is the fastest fastball thrown by a starting pitcher this season. 115.2 is the highest exit velocity for a home run by any angel, even including Mike Trout, since StatCast started doing this in 2015. He has the ability to be electric on both sides, and there's no one like that. I mean, he is so special. I just am not sure he's going to stay healthy. And Dave, you know, you talk about how original this kid is and what an athlete. He became the first starting pitcher to back second in the game since Jack Dunleavy in 1903, big guy, almost 100 years ago. If that one stat doesn't say how special this kid is, I don't know what does. There's any number of stats that you could attach to Otani that will get you excited. And let's be honest, this is Otani is the most exciting thing to happen to baseball in decades. And that's because there's only been one other player who's ever been able to pitch well and hit home runs. And Babe that's Ruth. Babe Ruth. Yeah. And Otani does it in the same game. Ruth didn't really do it in the same game. Well, so- R- R- Ruth was the last uh, pitcher to hit in the top seven in the order and hit a home run since Otani. That was 1933. So he did, he did swing it. He did it for leagues. a while. He did it for a while. That's true. First of all, I'm watching all of Sunday Night Baseball, which doesn't happen because of Otani, okay, because he's in that game. And I think what's going to get lost in that game, because he hit that home run and he pitched so well for four innings, is that he ran into trouble in the fifth. And what was so interesting about this is that the White Sox were down 3 nothing to the Angels, and Madden, who's the manager for the Angels, was desperate to get him through, Otani through five, so he could get him that win. He thought he deserved it. And, there, and he got into trouble, and he, 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 committed an, uh, he committed a throwing error when he tried to throw to first, and then the bases were loaded, and he threw a, a splitter in the dirt, which made it three to one, and then he got a strikeout, and the ball, and the, and the catcher dropped it, and it went to the backstop, and two runs scored three to three, but that's not why this is interesting. What's interesting is because there's so many opportunities to take him out of that game his pitch count was getting up and all the times we complain why don't you let him work out of it why don't you let him stay in well you know what madam gave him a chance to stay in and that was fascinating in the in like his first start and it was just great baseball everywhere in that inning Madden is the central figure in the whole Otani story because he has flipped the script and how he's been going to be using him in that A, he's letting him hit when he pitches. B, he's not going every six days, so he's going to be in the five-man rotation. And C, he's not looking to rest him as much. That's a lot of pressure on him. I don't know whether that's going to work out. It's exciting because it gives you more looks at him, but we'll see. Let's do it. It's fun. <laughs> 